Thanks for joining us here at Tech Extranet. I had a crazy problem recently. We had a customer call us and a couple Macs actually had this problem. They were unable to connect when they're connecting with the remote desktop app, either called Windows app, as you can see here on the screen, or Microsoft Remote Desktop. And they'd get the 0x104 error on their machine. And we found a common thread after checking the server and checking so many different things. We saw that the common item was that it was running Mac OS Sequoia and possibly got a recent update. And so that somehow messed us up. And so what we did was we were able to find out the problem and resolve the issue, which was great. And we're going to help you do that right now. Go ahead and click on the Apple menu on your top left of your screen and then go ahead and select system settings from the drop down list. And then from there, you're going to see a screen that's just like this. And you're gonna either do a search up top or just scroll down here on the left side. And we're looking for privacy and security as you'll see right here on the left. You're gonna go ahead and click on privacy and security. And then from there, you're gonna be looking in this list for local network. This is a good place, by the way, to be aware of because many different things can be disabled or enabled here. And you might wanna triple check and see you know, what what's spying on you or what has access to your machine that you're not aware of. It's good to look through this. But moving forward here, the local network is where you wanna go. And in here, you'll notice that Windows app is happens to be the first item in this list and it was actually off for the user so that's what actually shot us in the foot the user could not connect at all it just had no access and what we found out is that possibly a pop-up window pops up the first time you run Windows app or the first time you run the actual remote desktop as well and says do you want to have access now this could be related to a brand new Mac OS update for Sequoia or Sequoia itself but the user may have hit no or didn't get the box at all and so that's what messes it up. So you have to make sure to turn that on here. We turned on a couple applications as well that we were using and that did the trick for the user and they were pretty happy and on their way. So I hope this video helps you out and doesn't waste any of your time and you're able to just get the issue resolved for your user. And again, the server didn't have any problem with it and we wasted a little bit of time rebooting the server and checking on a couple things like authentication methods that were not necessary. So I hope this helped. Please like, subscribe and turn on notifications and we'll see you next time.